what we have for you here today. All right, to start with, we have the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck, which is clearly telling us that you are in a situation where you are getting to know someone, or soon you will start getting to know someone who you feel a very beautiful connection with. You know, usually connections and feelings don't really need the words don't really need to know more about that person it's something usually instinctive and you definitely feel that instinct with this person regardless of how much you know about this person you know that there is something beautiful about them and you want to know more now when you see the two of cups you see a mirror image which means that this person is feeling the same way for you right now. We see, in fact, here a mutual attraction and overall some passion that it's starting to grow right now and it can become something beautiful. I love the balance that I see here in the Two of Cups, but also I see death rebirth here, which means that What's happening right now is just the beginning of a new journey with this person. And it can be life-changing. can change what you do on a regular basis, how you live your days. Everything that is in your life right now can be impacted by this very powerful connection. Now, right here, this is a very fun setup. What I see is the moon, the eight of wands, and the sun. And of course, we will get into the meanings of the cards. But at the same time, to me, this is a, uh, a conversation that lasts all night. From the moon, from the night, to the morning, here with the sun. And this eight of wands in the middle, talking about a conversation that will be absolutely beautiful in between the two of you. This is definitely a all night long romantic conversation. And we start with the moon. With the moon, we always see a situation that it's not clear yet. There is a lot of mystery. And at first, it's absolutely normal to have that because you are, as we were saying, getting to know the person, getting to know what they like and not sure if they are full interested in you. With the moon, you have a lot of questions and you want to gain some clarity. But at the same time, you are attracted by this mystery. This is really something that is waking up the, the feelings within you, awakening the feelings, awakening your heart. And it's something that it's going to make you feel very excited. There is a lot of imagination here and perhaps either you or the other person has been thinking about talking to you in a room alone together so that you can fully open up and just talk about anything and everything. I see here the two of you starting to talk and not even realizing how much time is passing. It comes so naturally, and this conversation will be really effortless. We see here something beautiful starting up, and I cannot wait to see, to look more into the eight of wands and understand maybe what the two of you are going to talk about, what type of energies are exchanged in this conversation. But regardless of that, we see how amazing you're going to feel in the morning. This is something that is really taking you to the next level. You, the, the connection, this overall situation, we see expansion here. Some things will be said and some things you will learn that will really make you feel as though things are going to progress and things are actually going to move along just in the exact way that you were imagining them. So this is actually really beautiful because with the sun, we get major happiness for you, feeling lucky, feeling the energy. And it's interesting to see because maybe you haven't slept all night, but in the morning you will feel energized because of the excitement of this new connection, the excitement of this conversation that 
was really, really beautiful. So let's see what this Eight of Wands is about. Let's see what the two of you will perhaps talk about. But at the same time, Page of Swords goes very well with the Eight of Wands because Page of Swords wants to learn about the other person. This person maybe had a lot of questions for you. They are very curious about your past, curious about your present and where you want to go in the future. Um, I do get the sense there that one of the things that they wanted to understand is how many relationships you had, how long they were. Clearly, this person is trying to understand if you are partner material, if you are boyfriend or girlfriend material. So let's see what that eight of wands is about. So, yeah, <laughs> this person clearly wants to take things to the next level, especially with the page of cups, they are having a hard time to keep this love to themselves, to keep these feelings to themselves because they grow by the minute. And so what you see here is a potential first kiss as well. I don't see anything other than that, kiss and talking all night, but it's going to be really emotional and really fulfilling at the same time. This is quick emotions coming in and someone with a page who has something to tell you, something that can bring them a positive outcome or a negative outcome. And we see here, in fact, the conflict that they have been having maybe for uh, these past few hours or for the past few days or weeks because let's remember that this moment has been imagined by you or the other person. This is something that you both look forward to. And so what we see here is them trying to understand if it's the right time to come up with the Page of Cups message. Should I tell them that I do want to see them again, that I do want to get to know them better and maybe take them somewhere for the weekend. Should I tell them that I am the jealous type and I don't want them to seeing anyone else? So right now we see them trying to make a decision and gathering information up here with the Page of Swords so they can, they can better understand what to do at this point. It's not easy. There's a lot of fear. There's a lot of uh, negative thoughts as well. Thinking that maybe you don't feel the same way. Yes, you're having fun, but maybe you don't have the same intentions that they do. And so it's really important here to understand that this person is studying you. They're trying to learn more and also read in between the lines. You know, seven of wands, they are trying to distract themselves from the negative thoughts, as you see here, and just follow their instinct. But it's so hard whenever you are there on the line and you have to tell someone that you have that interest, that you want to take things to the next level. It's not easy. When you imagine it, yes, you feel strong and then I'm going to say that and then I'm going to say this. But when you're in front of that person, it's clearly not easy. But I like that with the Page of Swords, we have the Emperor. So right here, we see straightforward communication. Someone who is very clear about what they want. I don't perceive them as involving you into this, um, into this discussion because that would mean becoming too clear and transparent and so right here what they're saying is what they want from life what they want from a relationship what they're looking for whether it is a long-term relationship or someone to spend time with and get to know we will see what their intentions are but overall this person is trying to understand if you are safe to love and it's because they already feel that they are walking 
down that path that will take them to a place where they are in love with you. It would be so easy for them to fall in love with you because they do feel a very special connection already. And I know that in a, in a, cer at a certain degree, you also feel that connection. Keep in mind, let's not forget that we have death rebirth up here. And so the energies that we're seeing here might very well change the uh, overall dynamic between the two of you completely. So this conversation is going to be beautiful. We see what they're trying to do. Now let's focus on your intentions and their intentions. Let's see what you both want out of this newly formed connection. Let's see if you're on the same page and let's also look into how this connection is going to evolve after this conversation takes place. What is going to be the transformation in the future of this potential relationship in the near and distant future? If you want to dive deeper into the messages, just follow me in the extended video link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every week, I randomly select viewers that have watched the extended video to offer them a free personal 30 minute reading. I send out emails every Monday morning, so please check your spam folder as well. Stay tuned for the extended preview and some more content made just for you. Welcome back to your extended reading Aquarius. This is going to be a very emotional time coming up. It is almost like when you watch a movie and you see the people on screen just talking and the whole night goes through, goes by, and you arrive in the morning and you just have something amazing left within you. You have that sensation, that certainty, that something beautiful and you, it's starting up for you and it's going to change your environment completely. It's almost like a premonition, a sensation, an intuition, and you're both going to have that. This eight of wands comes up again because it really talks about not just the conversation, but it talks also about the passion and the fire that the two of you have for each other. What I like about this is how effortless that conversation is going to be. It gives you almost adrenaline rush and it just makes you feel very excited and lucky to be able to find such a strong and powerful connection. You know, I don't know about you, but often we date people and we have a good time, but we don't have that, um, that passion, that drive. And here you are going to have it. So it's really important to see how this conversation can change the outcome, can transform the outcome of this connection. But first of all, let's see what your intentions are, what this person's intentions are, and let's see if you are on the same page. We will do your intention and this person's intentions. All right, so listen, what we have here, especially in the middle, are two really beautiful cards. We have the Magician. <laughs>